Welcome back to our channel. My name is Daniela. I'm one half of Magical Wiggles. I am wearing microphone today. I ended up um, buying this off Amazon because I speak very low and I think it would just help probably with all the editing. Um, so yeah, so today I am trying to take pictures of some stuff that we've made. I want to say I did a vlog similar to this around Christmas, but I never actually finished putting anything up just because um, I was transitioning over to Shopify and then things got crazy and yeah. But today we're getting back to it. I have my laptop here to double check that I have that I'm not duplicating work and then I also have some of the interchangeable colors that I made that I'm super proud of. I think I showed those off in a color video I made but for the Shopify store I I use like the different colors with different accessories as the like the main picture but it really doesn't describe what it should. Like I think it would be better if even if I just manipulated the image a little just to show like the same color with different accessories hopefully you guys don't hear all the wild chaos i do live in the city so even though i enjoy being outside being out here does have a lot of loud noises sometimes so anyways hi boy you want to say hi not to me. Okay, alright, anyways, let's get started. Boy, I don't know how much you can actually see, but I am currently on my Shopify site and I just typed in the word art to see what came up. And now I'm going to just open up all of the items. These were all things that like transferred from Etsy. Okay, so now I'm at the shop, so I see I have the bookmarks, everything else is loading. Um, as you can see, like the descriptions come exactly as they are on Etsy, so then I have to go in and like fix all of this up. But we have the S ACO cards. These are like mini paintings. I When I first started doing art, like, that seems to be like a very popular way of doing um, selling stuff because it was short, it was collectible, it made it unique. But I never actually sold any of those. I did sell like one painting to like a, like a daughter that was giving it to her mom. And like that was super special to me because I love my silhouettes. Like you'll notice a lot of what I do is silhouette work and that's like my happy place <laughs> i um yeah i just love the contrast of like the color with the black it's just there's just something about it but then when it comes to the bookmark so it does look like i have quite a few of them here we have some artwork i was i remember during this time i was also looking into like nursery type of artwork um yeah, I'm just trying to sell stuff. I like cutesy things, so babies are like a natural thing that I gravitate towards. Also very much into like the romance and the sweetness and things like that. So, um, yeah, that's kind of what I ended up with. But it definitely looks like I haven't posted as much as I have. Like I'll show you, I'll, I have a box here with me that I'll show you and I'll open up and share some of the paintings that I'm going to be taking a picture of today. Um, Cause yeah, I barely have anything of everything I've made. So this should be good. All right, so this is the box that I was talking about. So we're just gonna start taking stuff out um, and figuring out what we're putting in the shop or not. Like I have these. Obviously not everything is intended to be sold, um, but there are some things that I do like. So, like I have this one that I think is pretty cute. Like I, I love making monsters. Like I, when I started 
like painting like a lot when I was around like 15 or something. I used to love monsters. And the way that I would create them is that like I would draw like three random lines without looking at the paper. And then right after I did the three random lines, I would just connect it and just make some type of creature. So that's one, how this one was born. But I know that it's hard to find frames for things like that. I also made this one for when we're in Panda. I went through like a period where I really liked pandas and yeah, it's just kind of like Japanese and very dramatic, of course, love. But this one I was playing around with like different textures. So like, I don't know how much you can tell, but the love is like written with these types of like embossing like it's like a liquid paint sort of thing but it, it like it leaves it raised so i used to really like the contrast um obviously these were not for sale these are all pictures of shinobi that then i watercolored the colors um i made these because i actually got to do a little stand at a supermarket the manager was really nice and let me put a little table up there so i made those for that event and yeah just more monsters you can see really like the monsters then we got a little robot because you know that's what geeky people like <laughs> and more silhouettes like i said like i loved silhouettes I actually made this one when I was in college. It started off as just like a place for me to put the extra paint um, from when I was painting something else and I ended up liking it because I felt like it looked like a dad, a mom, and a kid. I don't know how much people can see it, but um, again, I like the abstractness of it, but it still feels like it has like a shape. I don't know. Um, and I have a butterfly. I made like these during my teenage years and I feel like like I have some stuff that's like this little like girly. It makes me think of like a teenager's room. Then I have like more kid stuff, more silhouettes. Um, I always thought this would be cute for like a like a little girl's room. I got more teenager -y stuff. This one's a little bit more modern. Like this one and this one, like they would go together. I think that would look pretty cute. And then some alien people. These, I used to make them because of, you saw a lizard. Um, like these would be like the initials of the baby and then I could make like the personalized boat based on whatever colors, like if someone told me green or blue or pink and purple, um, I thought it would be cute. And then this, it's again like playing with these like texture things. Um, this is way too big to put into a frame, so I think I'm gonna have to cut it. I just have like attachment issues with everything I do, so I can't get myself to do it, but yeah. Anyways, so out of these, when we checked the site, we had this one. We didn't have this one, but I don't know that people would actually want this. I probably won't put it up. Um, we didn't have this one. And... Let's see. Definitely not that one. Then we had... I'm gonna do a maybe I don't know about the teenager stuff, like, I'm pretty sure I had the parent. This isn't, my memory is so bad, like, I can't remember exactly which I could put on there or not. I don't remember, I don't remember, and I know I didn't put this up because it's so massive that nobody would be able to use it. These are definitely not. Super 
go to the land house, thank you. These, which I actually found like some frames today. Of like, I framed them. And like, I think they look so cute framed. I don't know. It's so weird to like your own artwork. Like, especially these two, like, isn't that pretty? Like, I love this. Alright, so, um, that's it for the paintings. Alright, so, let's move on to the keychains. So, yeah. I, I stored them in the little boxes because I thought it would be easier to keep track of. So these are some of the boxes with the keychains. I'm gonna open them up and see how they're looking. So let's open them. So I finished looking over everything and I made little packets of things that match that I think could be like sets or that I can at least put them together. So I'm going to go feed the boy and then come back out to finish these and hopefully be able to edit them tonight. Okay, so I just finished taking all the pictures of the bookmarks and I did the interchangeable color thing and the artwork and that's really all I can do today. Like I already feel exhausted. I've been out here since like four and it's now past seven um, taking pictures and I still have to edit them, change the name, put them on the website, measure them and add them on. So I'm pretty sure I'm not doing all of that tonight, but I really just can't handle more. So I'm going to leave the ACO cards for later and yeah, that'll just be a whole different thing. I think if I try to do too much, I'm just going to end up giving up on it. So yeah, so that is it for today. I, um, I hope you kind of like the insight. <laughs> I really think I did something similar before. I don't remember, but I don't have the pictures anymore, so I have to do it again. <laughs> Which is why I'm trying not to overload myself. I mean, so three hours of picture sounds like I did overload again. So we'll see. I'll keep you updated. The hopefully the vlog the the video that's going up before this one is going to be like a small business affirmation. But it all kind of depends on whether or not I can catch the bumblebees going into the flower. Because I think that's going to be really cute if I can actually get the bumblebees. But because I record everything on my phone, I don't know about the quality. I don't know how it's going to look. But hopefully that works out so you'll get a break from the daily life. So, night, so the previous one should have been the bumblebees. And then it'll be this one. And then... Next one should be my mom's. We're trying to do each a video. Each of us does one video per week. So then you get posts twice a week, but it's from both of our perspectives because we're both always working on something different. I, yeah, I do a lot of this stuff. <laughs> a lot of the, these pictures and organizing a website and the more businessy side of it. Um, my mom does a lot of the creativity. I like doing the creativity, but it's just whenever time permits. But uh, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. If you stuck, if you stuck around, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I'm gonna try and get a cute video of Ollie, so we'll see how that goes. He's chasing lizards right now, so I don't know about cuteness level because he just 
he's a little hunter but anyways all right i'm gonna stop so subscribe like do all that good stuff we appreciate it it means a whole bunch if you don't do it for me do it for my mom you can do it for my mom do it for my cat or the puppies any of us would really appreciate it all right bye